tales the world over tell of a beast that is the harbinger of death. An ill omen the people have learned to fear above all others. The Hellhound. I'm Mako. This is Mako's Mythic Menagerie. Let's just get into it. So, Hellhounds. Often described as massive, often black dogs with glowing red eyes and supernatural strength and speed. Some of these hounds are said to have ghostly or even fiery features to them, leading to them being connected to the underworld. They are often said to guard the gates of hell, or places where people have been laid to rest, such as graveyards. One such hellhound is known as Black Shuck, or simply Old Shuck. It's a massive, ghostly black dog said to be the size of a horse. Said to roam the Norfolk, Essex, Suffolk coastline of England. It is said that the beast has roamed the countryside since before Vikings set foot in England. And some stories say it appears as a headless beast or floating on a thick cloud of mist. It is seen haunting graveyards, back roads, and dark forests. However, seeing Black Shuck does not always bode ill. Many who claim to have seen it went on to live very normal lives. Black Shuck is even said to accompany lone women home. It is also said that Black Shuck may reveal himself to you just before a family member or loved one falls ill or dies. Now, Black Shuck most likely inspired the Sherlock Holmes novel, The Hounds of Baskerville, but probably the most notable appearances of Black Shuck are those of the churches of Bungay and Blithburg in Suffolk on August 4th, 1577. At Blithburg, Black Shuck was said to have burst through the church doors, run past the large congregation to kill a man and a boy. It is said he caused the church tower to collapse before fleeing, leaving singed paw prints on the floor that remain to this day. In a strange and terrible wonder, written by Reverend Abraham Fleming, it he recounts Bungay's account of Black Shuck the same day. Abraham tells of a black dog running around the church with great speed before coming upon two people kneeling in prayer. The beast wrung the necks in an instant, killing them both where they knelt, before fleeing into the woods. In Central America, there is a pair of hellhounds known as El Cadejo. One white, good Cadejo, and the other, a black, evil Cadejo. Although, depending on the location, these two may be swapped and the black Cadejo is said to be the good omen, while the white Cadejo is the harbinger of death. If you ask me, just don't trust any dogs in Central America unless they are brown. Both of these hounds were said to appear to travelers at night, the good Cadejo to protect them and guide them home, while the evil Cadejo which is normally said to be an incarnation of the devil, was there to kill you. It is the said that they can appear in anywhere from a normal size to that of a cow, and that they have goat or bull hooves. It is also said that you should never turn your back on El Cadejo, or speak to the beast, 
as it can cause you to lose your mind. In places like Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, El Cadejo is described as having deer hooves and moving more like a deer than a dog. The white Cadejo, again, protects anyone, including drunks and hooligans, on their way home. It is said that the white Cadejo only eats bell-shaped flowers that grow near volcanoes, while the black Cadejo is said to have glowing purple eyes. It is said to eat newborn babies and have the ability to stand up on two legs to deliver a series of punches to its victim. There is a large weasel in Central America known as the Tehra that is referred to as the Cadejo in everyday speech that may have helped as the inspiration for the beast. You've probably heard of the most famous hellhound, Cerberus from Greek mythology, a giant three-headed dog that guarded the gates of hell in the underworld, said to be the son of Typhon, youngest son of Gaia and Tartar, as well as Echidna, the half-woman, half-snake monster. Cerberus was not the only multi-headed son of this pairing. There were the likes of the Lernaean Hydra, Orthus, the two-headed dog who guarded the cattle of Jerry, and even the Chimera. Originally, Cerberus was described as having 50 heads, but was later stated to have three canine heads and a number of serpents protruding from all over his body. Hercules' final labor was to retrieve Cerberus from Hades and bring him before King Eurystheus. Hades agreed to let his nephew take Cerberus, provided that the hound was returned to the underworlds afterwards, and on the condition that Heracles be overcome him with only his brute strength and with no weapons. So what are these beasts? Demons? Stray dogs? Large weasels? or just people's nerves getting to them while they're alone at night. I'm afraid I don't have the answers you see. All I can say is watch your back. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and tune in next time when I talk about something else.